Hello, this is Reb Yosef Schreiber coming to you from the land of Israel. This week is Parsh's Akev, and it deals with the, among other things, the travels of the children of Israel in the desert. And in it, Hakadosh, or more precisely, uh, Moshe says to them, uh, speaking for uh, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that um, he afflicted the uh, children of Israel and he fed them the uh, the manna in order that he should um, know what's in their hearts and whether they will keep the mitzvahs. So, um, you s- there's an allusion to this in a... Um, a uh, Talmudic aphorism in Eruvim 65, where it says that a man is known by his coast, meaning his uh, glass of wine, his keys, his money, his wallet, and his cuss, his aggravation. And when you're talking about the afflictions of the children of Israel, um, at times, their behavior was extremely shrill. On the Red Sea, or when they didn't have water, they screamed things like, uh, weren't there enough uh, graves in Egypt that you took took us out into the desert uh, to kill uh, me and my my children? Um, In other words, it revealed certain very negative things about themselves. Uh, These these uh, bad conditions. Um, in the case of the mana, it's the opposite. They had all of their um, their needs being taken care of. It was uh, they had all the food that they needed to eat, uh, tasted very nice, and on top of that, you had the clouds of glory that kept their clothes clean. And there was a miracle in that the clothes grew as they did. You didn't need any new clothes. and You didn't have to uh, launder them. So you were talking about your food and your clothing and basically everything else being taken care of. The, the question is then, uh, what do you do with all this leisure time? You don't really have to work. Um, and... Uh, this also reveals something about a person, uh, about a personality, uh, intoxication, uh, acting strangely, or becoming very enthusiastic about the golden calf. Uh, also reveals what is in a person's heart. And so to speak, when a young um, person reveals things that are in his heart through means of his words or his actions, there is a confrontation with himself and a confrontation with truth. A person has all types of um, uh, of illusions, sometimes we delude ourselves. Uh, When these things come out, We know how we really feel, whether it's for bad or for good. So what you have is a situation where the desert is giving the people the wisdom to know really what is the ideal situation and whether this is something that they wish to do or they wish to neglect. And is, are the, the Torah and mitzvahs um, something that is important to them or something that they neglect? And is it something that, they are, uh, that it scares them a bit, that uh, if they violate a precept, do they believe that bad things are going to happen to them? If they keep a precept, do they believe that good things are going to happen to them? Um, So 
what you have is a situation where in the wilderness or in our present exile, so to speak, Hashem is constantly revealing the way that we truly feel, revealing what his standards are, and giving us an opportunity to fix ourselves and bring ourselves to the land of Israel and to the, to, to the days of the Mashiach. Thank you. Have a nice Shabbos. Uh, the, uh, what follows is uh, I'm going to sing a Don Olam to the tune of Scarborough Fear, uh, popular in my shul in uh, Island, New Jersey. Uh, I hope you like it. A Don Olam, a Sheer Moloch, the Tavrim Kol. Yitzir nivra liyes nasa v'kev so kol azai melech shemohu nikro v'acharei kichlos hakol levado yimloch nora v'hu haya v'hu hove v'hu yia v'sifara v'hu echad the ain shani laham shilo lahak dira bully rashis bully saklis bolo ha oz vaham isra bohu ali the kaiko ali let's or heavily the a sara bohu nisi umanos lee menos Kosi be yom ekra be ya ato av ki ruhi be es ishan va aira ve im ruhi gavi asi hashem li velo ira.